In this series, our first fish will be the catfish. Wondering how it got its name? A catfish's barbels look very similar to that of the cat's whiskers. With around 4,200 species and 38 families, the order Celeriformes are spread around the world in fresh and salt water. In Europe, we have the Welsh catfish that can grow up to 6 feet and weigh up to 200 pounds. In Asia, we have the striped eeled catfish. These ones are grouped for protection and take turns feeding. So as the ones on the bottom feed, the ones on top look out for danger. In Africa, we have the air breathing catfish that can stay on land for extended periods of time. In Australia, we have the eel tail catfish that has a tail that looks like an eel's tail. In South America, we have the armored catfish. But the scoots on the armored catfish are not the same as the scales on any other fish. They're much thicker and provide much better protection. But since we are in the US, we are focused on the big three. The blue catfish, the channel catfish, and the flathead catfish. There are also other invasive catfish species that if I find, I will show you guys. But my main focus are these three catfish. So what makes a fish a slurriform? Characteristics that all slurrium forms share are they have no scales, spines in their dorsal and pectoral fins, certain skull bone fusions, vertebrae two through four fuse, and a complex centrum, and several other things that I'm sure you won't remember or care about. I'm saving more anatomy features for the video I dissect, because that's why I didn't get too deep into anatomy. But next, my next video, I'll get more into the anatomy. Join my next episode where we will dissect a farm-raised catfish.